Welcome to Science with Mr. Weber. Today we will be looking at the effects of industry on ecosystems. Logging. So logging is our source of timber, which we use for a variety of purposes, including construction. Habitats can be destroyed when trees are removed, and the increase of light at the forest floor can also change the types of plants that grow there. Now I say can because uh, there are ways to perform logging that are sustainable. Those include uh, using plantations and by regulating what areas of forest are being uh, harvested at the time. Mining. We gain many metals and fuels by mining. Now open cut mines can involve destroying existing habitats. The chemicals from mines can pollute waterways and loose soil can wash into rivers and creeks. Now, open cut mines uh, can destroy habitats uh, when they are dug at places where there are existing habitats. Obviously, if there's an area that's uh, fairly empty and open cut mines are constructed there, then uh, we aren't going to see too much habitat loss. Okay, chemicals uh, from mines can pollute waterways. Uh, but it is up to the companies involved in the mining to ensure that this isn't the case. And finally, loose soil okay, it can wash into rivers and creeks. Now when it does, the main issue there is that sediment ends up blocking light from reaching uh, the deeper layers of the, the water, which can impact any aquatic life that relies on photosynthesis to occur, so things like aquatic plants. Agriculture. So, uh, with agriculture, much native vegetation can be cleared for use as grazing fields by uh, animals or to grow other crops. Okay, chemicals can also run off into waterways. So, again, uh, if areas are chosen that aren't already occupied by uh, native wildlife, then that is preferable. And now, when I say chemicals, I mean things like pesticides and fertilizers. So pesticides can obviously harm environments by uh, removing some uh, members of those ecosystems. Uh, but fertilizers can also be quite harmful because they will produce, uh, they will promote the growth of things like algae, uh, which can use up a lot of the oxygen in the water, leading to some organisms uh, suffocating and obviously having that uh, effect on the rest of the food web. Okay, so another, uh, I guess, thing that could be an issue with agriculture is use of genetic modification and selective breeding. So, genetic modification, okay, that involves directly manipulating uh, genetic information in an organism. Okay, and that'll be typically used to produce uh, desirable traits. So, perhaps we want uh, fruit and vegetable that doesn't spoil as quickly. Okay, now uh, that photo there of that, that cow, the Belgian blue cow, that's, uh, that's actually real. And surprisingly, that's not a result of genetic modification at all. In fact, it's a result of the practice known as selective breeding, uh, where over generations and generations, uh, you select uh, mating pairs of that organism in order to get those desirable traits that you would like. So in this uh, cattle, for example, there are two uh, specific mutations that have occurred and have been carried through generations, and those are a, a very low fat gene. Okay, so there's very little fat on this cow, uh, which is why the muscle definition is so high, but it's actually also got a double muscle fiber gene there as well. So it's got those two mutations, and uh, that's the result of selective breeding. Okay, so another effect of industry is pollution. Okay, so uh, pollution, a pollutant is a substance that is introduced in the environment that is harmful or poisonous. So an example we have here is sulfur dioxide. So, so sulfur dioxide uh, is formed by burning coal and processing mineral ores. Uh, so the effects are uh, respiratory irritation uh, and it reacts with water in the air to form acid rain. So acid rain is rain with a pH less than seven and what it can do is it can 
uh, cause soil to become slightly more acidic, which can actually prevent certain plants from growing or cause them to die. So that can have quite a large impact on ecosystems. Okay, and finally, last thing we'll look at here is plastics. So plastics are being used very widely now. So, I mean, the, the computer you're watching this off of, uh, the mouse you're using, the keyboard you're using, okay, there are a lot of things that are made out of plastic. And the main issues are it, is, it can be littered, okay, the rubbish can be dumped, uh, but the real reason is that it, it just takes a very long time for it to break down naturally. And it can affect ecosystems in that uh, animals will eat it, okay, it won't get broken down by their stomachs, so they won't feel hungry again, which means they could end up starving, or they could become tangled in it, unable to move. That's it for our lesson this week on impacts and ecosystems. Thanks for watching.